before we get started, I have to get my reflectors out. And I, I'll have to tell you a story about the reflectors here. Um, I saw these reflectors in the road and started picking them up um, on Tuesday. And I said, what, we could have a campaign to recycle the reflectors. And that would be a great thing to do to recycle the reflectors. Um, immediately upon giving this great idea to my staff and to everybody else, some, who some are behind me here, uh, rolled their eyes at this idea and said it's $4.95 for a reflector. We will spend more than $4.95 getting them back into shape, and you see they are chipped in the marred. Uh, and they said, and also you got to think that you will be asking people to go out and face the traffic to pick those up. So um, instead of doing that with the reflectors, we're going to give them out as prizes to each person for the work that they have done and for each apartment for what they have done. Uh, we just went through a winter weather event. And in that winter weather event, uh, one of the things that we've got to say is that, uh, that all, all the entities throughout the city and the county uh, responded, uh, to, uh, responded in the best of fashion. Uh, we were very, very truly lucky to have this kind of response in, in this, uh, in this uh, emergency situation that we had. Uh, the price tag to the city of Huntsville was, uh, for the three-day weather event, was $120,000. That includes $88,000 in overtime pay for essential employees and about $32,000 in cost of materials. Huntsville Utilities has reported that their costs were about $128,000 in overtime and replacement material to handle about 3,000 power outages. And I want to stop and say a little bit about each person who was here. Uh, each person did, uh, did jobs that um, went way above and beyond the call of duty. Uh, when we sat down and uh, first off start with Bill Yell over here with Huntsville Utilities. Huntsville Utilities, y'all handled, uh, how many was it? It was 33,000 power outages. 3, and uh, the community uh, where they might have been inconvenienced for a little bit quickly were put back with power. Uh, Terry Hatfield and all his crew with Jackie Burgreen and Preston Whitaker, I mean, they, they took off and they did a wonderful job. Mr. Hatfield spent about, uh, and Preston and Jackie spent three days uh, of their life uh, sleeping on cots down at Public Works, uh, making sure that we had uh, that we had roads sanded, roads salted, uh, that we uh, scraped up as many of these as we could uh, to get the snow off of the streets, and, uh, and their job was just wonderful. And Mr. Hatfield, I'd like to present you with the first of the reflectors here for your department because y'all did a wonderful job, and thank you for the job you did. Uh, Mr. Brown, Tommy Brown with uh, Public Transit and Transportation. Tommy, y'all did... 250 runs of dialysis patients Correct. Uh, during the ice and the snow. And one thing that everybody has to realize is that that dialysis patient, uh, it's a life-threatening posi uh, position that they're in. They have to get to that dialysis treatment. If they go without that dialysis treatment for several days, it's life-threatening. And to uh, Tommy Brown and all the public transit employees who made sure that those runs were made and made sure that our uh, transit system worked as much as it could, Thank you, and you get a reflector. Thank you. I appreciate that. And Rusty Russell. Uh, Rusty and the EMA uh, department worked very hard. Uh, they were there 24-7 uh, during all of the time. They held all of our... Um, held all of our briefings and made sure that each of us were uh, were kept up to date as to what to expect, when to expect it, and we even expected the unexpected uh, because the weather... Uh, the weather prognostication didn't exactly match what came, but it worked very well because people were ready for it and uh, everybody got through this safely. And Rusty, I give you a reflector of honor too. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, Huntsville Police and Huntsville Fire, as usual, did a wonderful job. People stayed over, people worked hard, people worked long and hard to make sure that our community was safe, that, uh, we, that our fires were put out, and make sure that our community was ready to go. And to each of you, I have a reflector of honor there. Thank, you, Thank you. Appreciate it. And then uh, 
to Hemsey. Uh, Hemsey, how many runs did y'all run, Don? We averaged about 175 every 24 hours during the snow. During the snow, 175, uh, 175 runs every 24 hours. And Hemsey was a big part of making sure that our community was safe. They did not back off a bit. Uh, they got chains put on their, their trucks and they, uh, they ran through the snow and, uh, and everything else. And uh, they made sure that our community was safe. So Don, I want to give you a reflector of honor. So thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you. But to each of them, uh, to each of the departments and to each of the people, and we, and we had support <coughs> staff. Our support staff came in we had people in administration who came in. Uh, John Hamilton was in about every day. He uh, almost lived over at Public Works for a while. And John, I want to say thank you for the great work that you did through this. And I want to say uh, also thank you to the administration staff. Uh, we had one day when one of our administrative assistants came in. City Hall was closed, but uh, Ann Light came in to make sure the phones were answered and that people had their questions answered and, um, and did a wonderful job. They even let me sit on the phones for about two hours. I only hung up on one person at the very front, of, front end of it because I couldn't un understand which button to push. But after that, I was trained and ready to go. And uh, we answered the phones for about a two hour period and were able to respond to everybody. But I really think that truly this was a, uh, this was a team effort. Everybody did their part. Everybody made sure that the citizens of Huntsville were safe. And, uh, and I want to say to every one of you, Thank you from the bottom of my heart, and thank you on behalf of 185,000 citizens of the city of Huntsville for doing everything you could to make sure that we were safe during this, um, during this, uh, this time of emergency. John, got anything to say? Yeah, just, hey, uh, it was, a, as the mayor said, a phenomenal effort by the team, uh, and I think he's, uh, he said that extremely well. I want to thank the public. One of the things we saw is we spent time out in the leadership from Public Works from Terry Hatfield, and I was out there with them, uh, not nearly as much as they were out, but out some. One of the things I noticed is that as we asked the public to stay off the roads, uh, they did a good job of that. As we asked the public to be prepared, uh, we worked a lot with our corporate partners and with, uh, particularly with Redstone Arsenal, about closures and being timely and making those decisions. Uh, it made this event much easier to manage. Doesn't mean it was easy to manage, it's always tough to do that. Uh, but when people are staying out of the way, when it allows the, the crews to get out and work on the roads and do things, uh, certainly makes it safer. There are certainly some people that have to be out there, and there were cars out on the, on the streets in some of the, in some of the worst weather, uh, but it wasn't nearly what we've seen maybe in some previous events, and it allowed the teams to do a good job. And so making sure the public is informed, making sure they're prepared, uh, making sure they're flexible uh, is, is an important thing. And I think our community did a wonderful job in working with us uh, and dealing with uh, the events that happened out there. So thanks to the public. And finally, we, we've got one last thank you. Uh, the person who put together this news release and the person who made sure that uh, all the public knew what we were doing through this whole process, Kelly Scrimpture, our communications director, thank you for the work that you did. A lot of thank yous today, but those thank yous are to, to give accolades to those who made sure that we were safe during the uh, winter storm. And uh, we, look, we do not look forward to the next one, but I can assure you when the next one comes, we'll be ready. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thanks for remembering, folks. That was a good idea. Do y'all have any questions? <laughs> yeah. Question.